great example. Uh, in Illinois, and this is in your packet as well, you'll just see a one-liner there, but it's in the, the national or the United States International Gambling Report. In Illinois, the license fees for the casinos coming in were $25,000 a piece. Now, it's my understanding they're $50 million here, but the market, going market rate is between $250 million and half a billion dollars per casino license. So right off the bat, if you grant four licenses, you're basically giving away about $2 billion. That's why you see a $50 million campaign to bring these casinos into the state. Because on the back end, they know immediately it's going to be a profit maker of billions. And it's worth pushing this in every state with another $50 million campaign, because sooner or later, you'll they'll get it with the weak sister state, and I don't mean to be offensive, but that is the strategy, is to keep pushing until these, these things happen. You've seen vote after vote after vote here in Ohio. I've been here, I remember uh, 1994 with Governor Voinovich. You had a vote back in 1994. I did press conferences in, in your major uh, media markets, uh, and it, it just keeps coming back and back. Well, I'm from Illinois, we were one of the first states to get the casinos. We are bankrupt. We have one governor in prison. We have another under indictment. Uh, part of that is related to what has been going on. Uh, there, there is a gambling component to these problems that we're having. And I don't want to speak too much about them because they're ongoing right now. Uh, but the Despite the social problems, and by the way, these social studies were summarized in tables, and you have a copy of one of those tables, of eight studies over the last 20 years, all showing these social costs of three, four, five dollars for every one dollar in benefits. Those are presented before Congress in testimony under oath. We're, we're, these numbers are documented. We're not talking gambling PR. We're not talking gambling PR studies, and I, we, get them all across our desk at the university. We're talking legitimate, solid academic studies, and those numbers, the numbers that we relate, are solid numbers. Uh, and I want to assure you of that. Uh, the final thing I'd like to point out is every gambling machine, every video gambling slot machine, costs you one job per year out of the economy. So if you have 10,000 slot machines, you're going to be losing 10,000 jobs per year. Now people ask, well, why is that? Well, the industry itself will tell you that each slot machine takes in approximately $100,000 on average per year. That's $100,000 that's not being spent on cars, refrigerators, computers, and the necessaries of life, food, clothing, <coughs> banking, savings, that $100,000 out of the consumer economy is a loss multiplier effect of three. So it's really $300,000 in lost consumer spending in the economy. You're shrinking your economy when you bring in gambling. You're shrinking your consumer economy. And you're actually throwing uh, gasoline on recessionary fires. What you need to be doing is expanding your economy, growing your economy, and that lost $300,000 in consumer spending, the sales tax revenue itself on that is, you know, $20,000, $30,000. In Chicago, it's $30,000. We have a 10% sales tax rate in, uh, in Chicago. So for governments, local governments, you're creating all these social costs, plus you're, sh you're shrinking your tax revenue base. <coughs> and so you're actually hurting your economy and your long-term growth. Now, let me give you one final example. If you go through here, you'll find Warren Buffett, his son Howard Buffett, speeches that they have given all across the country about the negative impacts of gambling on the economy. And in Warren Buffett's hometown, Omaha, Nebraska, they had similar proposals to what you have here, to build a large casino in Omaha, Nebraska. The racetrack was going out of business. Um, they were very concerned about this. Instead, they decided to tear it down they built an extension of the University of Nebraska. They built a high-tech office park. 
and private investment came in is now doing about a half a billion dollars in condominiums around this. That is long-term growth. And they're doing it now in the midst of this poor economy. And it's flourishing. You're either going to have to have a consumer economy. If you put a casino down here in downtown Columbus, you're going to ruin a lot of the economic activity that you have there already. Plus, as you notice here, the, the addiction rate among older people doubles. It doubles again among younger people. So when you have Ohio uh, State here, you're going to see floods of students going down, losing their tuition money. There's one front page story in Iowa of a, where a 19-year-old student lost all of his money on these slot machines, was living out of the trunk of his car, and finally committed suicide. I wish I could say that's unusual but it is a huge and growing problem. So why bring this into your backyard?